Hi there, I am Stefania and I am Keyless Customer Support Team Lead. I am very excited to announce that we've released subscription preferences to Keyla and I'm very excited to walk you over the new things that we've added and how you can use it on your Keyla account. You might be wondering, what is subscription preference and, and why should I care about it? The answer is pretty simple and it's because you can send out email marketing to specific audiences and contacts can unsubscribe to certain types of emails. For example, they can unsubscribe from your regular newsletter, but they can still get email marketing about volunteering activity for your organization. I'm very excited to show you how you can all set it up on your Kila account. In order to access subscription preferences, you're going to want to go to your communications tool over here to the left. And we want to look at here at subscription preferences. So, so this is a new addition that we've added in here. And when you open it, you're going to see four subscription preferences. And those are going to be the ones that are going to default to all accounts. And you can go ahead and see in here. So we have marketing, volunteering, news and blogs, and other. And you can always go ahead and create a new preference in here. So I can do this custom emails and then you can add a description for it and then you can mark it as active or inactive. So I'm just going to mark it as active. And then from here, you can go ahead and add context to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and add, let's do Patrick in here. So I can see that my contact Patrick, it's subscribed to my custom emails um, subscription preference. And then if I go ahead and look at Patrick's contact over here, I can see Patrick's subscription preference in here for custom emails. And this is another place where I can go ahead and edit a contacts subscription preference. So if I click in here, edit, I can go into their subscription preferences and I can go ahead and remove or add another one or just eh, update it from there. So the two places that you can update a contact subscription preference would be in the contact directly. And again, going over communications, subscription preference and going over the specific subscription preference and you can do that for all of them so for example on my marketing subscription preference I can see the three contacts that I have over there and you can add more contacts from here you can go directly to each specific contact and then you can always also select in here and you can go ahead and delete them if you wanted to delete them in bulk you can also edit them in here so you can change the name if you don't want it to look um, to show marketing etc you can also, if you have multiple of them, you can go ahead and use the search bar in, in here to search for it. So I can search for custom, and then you can create as many preference as you think you need for your organization. So how can a contact a, let you know what subscription preference they want? So we're going to be looking at the settings tab over here. And the settings tab, this would be where you get your unsubscribe page. But if you can take a look now, we have preferences manager, and this would be where you can um, edit it. And you can let your a contact select what subscription preference they want. And if we go through the process of creating a new email marketing, so if we go back in here, email marketing, create email marketing. So let's do testing. You can see in here that you now can select for subscription preference. So I'm just going to select in here custom emails and then I'm going to save. And then you can see in here that in order to add the recipient, so I still have the same selection. So I can select the segment, a tag or all contacts. But the people that I select in here need to also have the subscription preference of custom email. So in this case, I only have my contact Patrick, remember from um, the beginning that has the custom email subscription preference. So I would only be able to send it to Patrick. And if we take a look at the content, so I'm just going to add in a general content in here. So let's just do this one to show you what the footer is going to look like on the email marketing. So if we scroll down to the footer, so you can see in here that we've added, so you can unsubscribe. So they have the unsubscribe button or they can manage their preferences. And this would be the page that they can go ahead and select what subscription preference they want to get notifications on. The last place that we want to look at for subscription preference would be our subscription form. So we're just going to go back into Kila and we're going to go back into here our forms. And we're going to be looking at a subscription form that I have already created here on my account. And I'm going to be looking at the designer tab. So this is the design of the form. And I want to be looking at the subscriber information in here. And this would be where you can turn on the subscription preference so they can decide um, what are they interested in. And here they can select multiple, they can select one, et cetera. So when they're signing up for your mailing list, they can decide which one, um, which mailing list they want to receive emails from.